you grab them by the collar. We're not talking about grabbing them by the scruff of the neck to design. <clears throat> so then you get into, you know, you grab them by the collar, not by the scruff of the neck, because we're not intending to do harm. It's like, well, here's the thing. If we're using a correction, right, we have to define what is the correction? What is the dog perceiving as aversive that's deterring the behavior, right? Yeah. He said in a minute here, he's like, well, we use a verbal correction for this. Well, if you're using a verbal correction and your shh is enough, why do we need to grab the collar then at that point? Yeah. You know what I mean? If the collar grabbing is what's actually aversive and what's deterring the behavior, why do we need to add the shh in? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's confusing. It doesn't make sense. It's like, then you could say like, well, the whole event of me doing all of those things is the correction. It's like, well, that sounds completely unnecessary. You yeah. know what I mean? You could find something much more efficient to be able to give as your correction then in that moment moment right so whatever and here's the thing too let's say the dog perceives grabbing the scruff of the neck as aversive that could be the correction as well let's say my dog was motivated by me walking up and grabbing their scruff I'm not saying anything just scruff right yeah. i could attach that to a behavior right if oh, i'm yeah. using my markers properly dog jumps over there i tell them no i go over i do a quick grab he perceived that as aversive. I've successfully attached that aversive event to jumping on the counter. I do that consistently enough. The behavior goes away. Really simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, but we grab them by the collar and we hold them sternly. Look them directly in the eye. and Then you get into the eye contact, right? So is the eye contact the aversive moment? Yeah. I, you know, it's this this whole event is very, very confused. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Your verbal correction. So as the mm. biting begins... Yeah, so, so he's implying the passive correction is a verbal correction here, Yeah. right? So a, a, a verbal, you know what I mean? Like, like the, yeah. an aversive only works if the dog perceives it as aversive, right? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of dogs that aren't going to give a shit about this if you do this, right? Oh, yeah. You go to do that to some dogs, one, they're either going to laugh at you, or two, they're going to challenge you back, which puts you in a vulnerable place. I've seen a lot of times with puppies that are really hyped up and biting. You go to grab their collar. They're just turning around and getting amped up because you're restraining them. Yeah. And they start trying to bite you even more, Yeah. right? Because there's nothing that they perceive as that aversive by that. They're just being yeah. held back at that point, which amplifies behavior. Uh, that's what this one says right here. She will bite towards my hand if I grab her collar. <laughs> Yeah, just keep holding until she calms while she continues to bite me. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's a flawed mentality as yeah. well, right? And you hold until the energy starts to decrease, when they start to relax. And then it's like, okay, cool. Is this an energy problem that we're correcting? Or is this a biting thing we're correcting? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, cool. We want the dog to, their energy to come down right now. It's like, mm -hmm. well, the energy isn't the problem. The mm -hmm. dog's ability to control themselves when they're energetic and not bite is the problem. Yeah. Yes. And we let go. <laughs> if they're then a mark at the end, right? So then he implements a mark when the dog calms down, which would not be necessarily incorrect, right? Yeah. If you want to mark and identify the correct choice after you've corrected for the, the first one, that's fine. Mm. But a yes marker means nothing by itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Markers are verbal things that we're doing, right? Verbal cues, verbal commands simply are cues for things or marks for things. They don't okay. have any inherent meaning by themselves. Yeah. Sit, down, bed, stay have no meaning unless we've taught and connected a physical thing to it. Mm -hmm. No, yes, good, whatever, our markers that we use have no inherent meaning to them unless we attach something positive to them, mm -hmm. right? So the only way that that would work is if we were properly adding a reward then at the end of it, yeah. right? <laughs>